name is Annette Water. I was born on November 10, 1916 in Sonoma, California. When I was born, I was Georgiana Wilson Matsuyama. My father, Atsu Matsuyama, was born in Miyazaki, Japan in 1885. Atsu came to the United States when he was 18 years old and determined to make a better life for himself. And he came to California and worked for Jack London, who lived about seven miles away from our home. My mother, Georgiana Wallman, was of German descent, and she was born in San Francisco, so she was a citizen. Because my father was Japanese, it was not legal for them to marry in California, and so they married in Washington State in 1905. And my mother lost her citizenship my grandfather was German, and he okay. My mother married my father. I had five brothers and two sisters, and he didn't have arms big enough to put around us. He just loved us. Even though we were part Japanese, he just loved us. When I was 19 years old, I was queen of Sonoma there. Being that I was born in Sonoma, they called me Miss Sonoma. First time I ever had a Japanese come on. It was so nice. They were so good to me. That was in 1939. In 1941, I met Johnny Tawada. We married May 3rd, 1942. On December 1941, Japan attacked Pearl Harbor and suddenly the lives of Japanese Americans changed. May 1942, I was required to report to Oakland and then was taken to Tamfaran Assembly Center for people who would be taken to Topaz, Utah. When we went to the Assembly Center, I was so surprised the different life we had. We had one room and we had blankets for doors. My sister-in-law and husband, they had two daughters that the four of them were in one space and they had a blanket and then Johnny and I had a blanket for a door and it smelled like horses. It was really bad, but they were all used to the smell, so they didn't think it was too bad. They took my sister, she was only 10 years old. They came and got her, and my brother who had pneumonia, they took him out the hospital and put them all on the bus to Tamfran. My sister was so happy when she saw me. And she said, my brother who had pneumonia just coughed all night long and she couldn't sleep. But I thought that was just terrible. I said, I don't see why they put us in camp. I said, what's the matter with our president? We didn't even know 
a word, maybe two or three words of Japanese, and that's it. In September, we went to Topaz Utah because it was ready for us. On the way, we got to a big town and we had to pull down the shades because they said someone might shoot us. Then when we got to Topaz, it was so cold. It was stormy and sandy. The dust storms were just terrible. You could hardly see your way around. And I thought I'd go for a walk and couldn't see where I was going. I was by the heater and this man said, you're in the wrong, you're in my apartment. I, oh my God. They all looked alike. So I finally found where I lived. Our barrack was 12-6A. We only had a pot belly stove and a bed. For our first anniversary, we went to dinner at the mess hall and went to a movie, but the show broke down five times, and we were so disappointed. I said, this is no anniversary, but my husband said, if we ever go home, I'll buy you a home, so don't worry. When we came back from camp, the boys couldn't get a job. They just tried all over to get a job. And finally we came to Alameda. And they went looking for a job and they found a flower shop. For four years he cleaned the place and made nice arrangements and the boss liked him, and the landlord liked my husband so much, he said he's going to sell the flower shop and give my husband first option. We only had enough to buy a truck to deliver. So my husband went to Oli's restaurant, and Oli said, he would lend him the money. On the way home from Santa Cruz, a truck jackknifed and killed Oli and his wife. So we figured we couldn't buy the flower shop. But then we went across the street and told Pete and Guy, who had a grocery. Pete said, I'll lend you the money. So in 1951, we purchased the flower shop. That is how we got started. All my husband's customers came back and they even hugged him. So it changed our life. We just love Alameda.